at this place. A whole entire go kart track to ourselves. There you go. There you go. Whoa. Oh, we're going up. Stop wobbling. No one make any sudden movements for real. Whoa. Today, we are gonna be attempting to spend the night in a go-kart track. If you guys remember our overnight marathon series, we posted all these overnight challenges, but the one place that we did not do was the go-kart track. And trust me, we saw your comments. Boys, why didn't you spend the night in the go-kart track? Go-kart track, where's the overnight in go-kart track, boys? Why didn't you spend the night in the go-kart track? Well, today, my friends, we are fulfilling that promise. And we are gonna be spending the night in Tampa Bay Grand Prix go -kart go-kart track located in Tampa, Florida, and they got go-karts that go over 72 kilometers an hour. AKA 45 miles an hour for all you Americans out here. But 72 kilometers an hour sounds fast. Yeah, it just sounds like. And of course, we could not do this alone, so we got none other than our boy, DJ Fabuloso. What's up, boys? Hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, this is, it's time. It's finally time. This the is... one overnight that we couldn't do, we're doing it tonight. We've been trying to do this exact video, overnight in go-kart track, for years. But tonight is the night. It is the night. Let's go. Is this the part we're supposed to go down? Yes. We're supposed to go down here? Yes, come on, down. The game plan. Right now, we are all currently wearing our 24 hour challenge merch. But if we went in there with this, this would just be too obvious. The temperatures would increase in the facility and everyone would know something's up. Because the merch is too hot. Thanks, thanks. So, to mitigate these risks, we thought of an idea. A very complex, yet simple idea. We went to the store the other day and purchased us some uniforms. But not just any regular uniforms, janitor uniforms. And not only did we get janitor uniforms, we got janitorial supplies to fit the part. So right now, we're gonna get suited up and dress as janitors. You know the drill, boys. Put those clothes on. But first I gotta take them off. Yo, tell me we do not look like a squad of janitors. Look at this. Boys, come on now. We got all the supplies. DJ's got the broom, the mop. We got the plunger. This one sells it right here. This is what this sells is it. This is right here. Come on. No one just walks around with this. Dude, if you guys need a cleaning job, be sure to hit the boys right here at ibpmerch.com. That's where you can find us. Book us for your services. If you got a big cleanup, What's our slogan? Tell them our slogan one more time. Our slogan is, there ain't no job that the boys can't do. Bro, I think Bro. we might need a better slogan. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was not yeah, the slogan. No, no, the slogan is, no matter the mess, put the boys to the test. Woo! I like that. Come on now. Like but you guys are probably thinking, yo, isn't it going to be suspicious if a random cleaning crew just pulls up? And, and you would be correct. Yes, you would be very correct. But that is why we have our inside boy Hayden and what he did was tell the employees that a special cleaning crew was coming through, ordered from HQ. That's the boys, we're the special cleaning crew. <laughs> <laughs> and none of, the, none of the other employees are gonna question it because Hayden is the head honcho here and he said his head honcho gave them permission. So if any of them question, we just tell them, hey, do you want us to tell HQ on you? Ooh. <laughs> Come on now, come on son, come on son. I'm ready to plunge some toilets, brother, come on. I'll give you some toilets to plunge, brother, you come on. Plunge me, but. And we got to get inside ASAP because the time is currently 10.05 and this place closes at 11. So that leaves us about 55 minutes to sneak up in there, act and pretend like we're cleaning. Who knows, the boys actually might have to do some cleaning up in there. And then find a place to hide out until all the employees leave. And once they leave, the boys got the place to themselves and you already know. Can't be doing that up in there, girl. We're okay. professionals. And you already know, we gonna be riding. We gonna be having a good time. the truth we're about to walk up in there we have no idea what we're gonna say or do if they ask what we're doing we're just gonna make it up on the fly you know, we're, we're looking for a 
We got an email from the HQ. Yes, sir. We're supposed to be cleaning today. All right. Okay. Is there a way you can give us like a kind of a like a, a tour so we know yeah. which spots we need to clean? Through? Yeah. Let's go over here. Okay. When's the last time you had like a deep cleaning? Because that'll depend on like the products that we use today. I couldn't tell you the last time. We got okay. So we're we're gonna have to go hard in there, boys. Yeah. We're actually going in the bathroom. All right. I think we're actually gonna use that place. Nice. If you guys do not know, this is our inside man right here, Hayden. Yes, sir. The only one that knows, right? Yes, sir. So we gotta blend in and make sure no one else is onto us. Right now, I, they have no idea. No. Dude, we gotta push this card around. This makes us look even more official. More official. This is key. If you, you guys like need more like cleaning stuff, we have more in the back. Oh, we're not actually cleaning though, boys. No, I'm just kidding. We will. We will. We got you. We got you. We. We is a lot of people. Who's we? This you're, you're, look at you. You have the plunger on you. You're yeah, ready. but now you upgraded to the mop bucket, so. No, I'm actually going to be cleaning, bro. Don't worry. This is not Nintendo. There's no we here. But what, what should we do right now? For real, we have no idea what we're doing. Should we just go act like we're cleaning the track? Yeah, we sweep the track. You sweep it? The tire does. Let's go out yeah, there. Let's, let's go, go out there. there. Boys, when we exit here, we have to be serious. No more games. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's turn let's everyone leaves. Time to clean. Time to clean. Oh, we got you guys. Don't even worry about cleaning yet. That's why we're here. We got lucky. That's why no, they hired the professionals yeah. to come through. Oh, yeah. If only we were actually professionals. Oh my yo, look at this cart. Whoa. Yo, first look at this place is crazy. It's even bigger in person. That's what she said. <laughs> For the next couple of minutes, Hayden, our inside man, showed us around the track. Oh, there's so many go karts. Oh, yeah, thanks, sir. Yeah, yes, you're sir. off today. You're off today. They brought us in for a deep clean. Like, we're trying to get all up in those cracks, you know? Yeah, just wipe the carts, sweep the track. And then sometimes you wipe down the barrier, it gets a little dirty. Okay, we'll get every inch. He's good at getting all the inches, so. Lots of inches on me. Look at me, if this was out there on the track while he's riding, this could potentially be the cause of an accident out there. But thanks to the professional cleaning crew, we're picking this up and I'm parking this bad boy. Oh, uh, we have big rooms around like those, okay, in case you guys need them. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, take a day, don't no, take a day off, you know? That's why we're here. I work tomorrow, so you know, I hope to see it clean. Well, when you walk in, you're not even gonna recognize it. Yes. Yeah, I hope to see my reflection. Dude, you're, you're gonna see your reflection as soon as you walk in on every surface you look at. <laughs> Ricky really talked up this cleaning thing, so we actually had to clean. So let's head to the front so we can make sure everyone leaves. No, no, sir, I got it, I got it. You don't have to. That's what we're here for. Yeah, we got it. We got this it. is what, what I'm here for. If the cameras, yeah, catch, you, the if the cameras catch you actually doing that, I'm getting careful. We don't oh, get okay. Can you show us those or a way that you do, do your bags? Yeah, we just put it in. Okay, okay. Just okay. put it in normally, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> There's no special. In the banks? So, sometimes you'd be doing the most, bro. I'm sorry. In the banks, they ask us to do like a tie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. These are the okay. Yeah, yeah, no, you can go home early today, bro. This Thank is our you. job. Yes, sir. Right. Appreciate you. This is like our little safe space, the bathrooms, because there's no employees in here, there's no nobody. But boys, we gotta figure out what we are actually doing, because you guys just talked us in to cleaning the entire place. And when they walk in tomorrow, and this place is not clean, what does that look like? I was talking us up so much, I literally said a brother would see his own reflection in the ground. This guy at the end, dude was doing the trash, and guy goes, no, it's okay, bro. We got this. Take the whole night off. You know how many trash cans there are, bro? I counted 15 trash cans, and we've only been in here 30 minutes. I did do that to us. So you will be doing every single one of those by yourself, or else. No, please. We can oh, my But one good thing that we have going is that the time is currently 10... 54 p.m. and apparently this place closes at 11 and then we should have this place to ourselves And then before we get into the activities We're gonna have to actually do three and a half hours of cleaning and changing the trash bag because of us Yeah, you too. Well. Yeah me. I'll, I'll be whipping around while y'all are cleaning because I made to make no promises I just want to say look, the staff leave at 11 15 not 11 So boys, you know what that means we gotta pretend like we're cleaning for 15 more minutes. I mean we're actually cleaning don't worry Yeah, 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 I got you Do you have pipes that need cleaning? Do you have lights that need gleaming? Do you need wipes that need weaning? Well then look no farther and have no fear because Cleaning Boys Productions are here. The motto is simple. Ain't no mess too big, 
or too small, the brothers will clean them all. The Cleaning Boys Productions are not actual cleaners. We are professional YouTubers and we snuck into the do an overnight challenge. Please do not book us, but you can visit our website and cop the hottest merch in the game. If you book us, Ricky will leave a giant turd in your toilet. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like, and listen to our music. We are actually fire artists and not professional cleaners. Once again, the Cleaning Boys Productions are not professional cleaners. We will not be responsible for dirty houses or anything in your house that has been took on Shimano Sama on Tumata. Once again, visit the website down below and you guys can book us. We do not clean. The only thing we clean is our shoes on weekends, and we're not responsible for any turds or anything left inside the house. For more information, visit ibpmerch.com. Or link in the description. It is currently 11:14, and you guys heard Hayden say everyone leaves at 11:15. So we're gonna go out there in the main lobby, right where the exit is, and pretend like we're cleaning, so we can watch and make sure everyone leaves before we go have some fun. Let's go. Have a good rest of your night. See you guys. Have a good night. You too. I think that may have been the last of the workers that just walked out and left. I think so. There might be a couple more workers though, so we're gonna still pretend like we're cleaning until we are 100% positive. Alright, everyone's gone. Everyone's gone? We did it. Let's go. It is just the boys up in here. Nobody else except for our boy Hayden. Let's go. All right, you guys have a place to yourself for your range to anything you want to do, I guess. Let's go, bro. <laughs> a legend. Hey, red, bro. Bro. For real, for real, for real. Yeah. Big time shout out to Hayden. Let's go. Double dad. All right, boys. I think you know what that means. It's time to go explore this place. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so much more beautiful. When we have it to ourselves. This is like a dream come true, bro. Like having a whole go kart place to yourself and come spending on. the night in it. Come on, come on now. Look at this place a whole entire go kart track to ourselves. Shout out to the boy Hayden for making this happen. And shout out to y'all for watching the videos because without y'all, none of this is possible for real. It means the world. I don't even, my nuts are tingling right now. All right, yeah. All right, all right. Look how many go karts they have. Count them. Someone count them and comment down below how many go karts that is. Enter. The first step. This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. I'm running on the track. Oh, because we can do that. Yeah, because we can do that. Yeah, we can do we it. Can do that. If you want to hop over, you can hop over. Hop over. If I want to hop over, boom. This is crazy, boys. You see this sign right here? Slow down. Well, you know what they say. If you're not first, you're last, baby. Race you to the car, boys. Huh? Woo! Woo! Hey, best for last, you know what they say. <laughs> Yo, Fab, what are you doing up there? Yo, check your flag, boys. Come on, son. Cause we can. Cause we can. Come on, son. We gotta, you guys gotta appreciate this view. This really shows it right here. Look at this. Wow. I'm honestly taking this moment in. Look at this, boys. Wow, take it all in. What do we what do we do now, boys? If you ask me, I see what looks to be one of those lifts that you see that go up into the sky. And uh, while we're here, I don't think our boy Hayden would mind if we took it for a little lift. So you're saying, let's get a better view of this place. Hey, a better view so we can soak in all that mm. this place has to offer. Mm. We really just want to see this place for what it truly is. We want to see it in all of its glory. From new heights, if you will. Mm. From new heights, new places. Mm. Yes, that's mm. exactly what I'm saying, brother. Mm. So what I'm picking up is we're about to use this thing, which we have no idea how to operate. That's a good point. Do you know how to work this? Because yeah. I don't... But hey, the boys, you know, that's what we do. We try things that we never done before. We figure, we figure it out. That's what we do. We problem solve. Wow, this is a, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I've never been on one of these things, so. I've been on one. 
one time to put some speakers in the air and that's it but it doesn't go as high as this one I'm scared of heights actually we got the lift right here never operated one of these things in our entire lives we have no idea what we're doing for being honest the only thing we're good at is spending the night in places guys <laughs> honestly that is hide and seek right uh. professionals at that 10 out of 10 anything else you don't really know but one thing the boys do is we figure it out so let's go boys come on so uh, DJ Fablo so ladies first come on now. Uh. This dude is deathly afraid of heights, so... Yo, just make sure you don't go all the way up, okay? We going all the way up. Bro, looking. <laughs> no well, okay, okay. Settle down, bro. Bro, what are you doing, bro? I slipped. What do you, you want me to do? You bro, you gotta bro. be careful when we're on this, bro. If you slip while we're 50 feet up in the air, brother, what do you think is gonna happen? That's something good. Don't be messing around with nothing. Let the professional get over there, okay? Yeah, what did you say earlier? You've never operated any of this before? Yeah, but one thing I have operated is these nuts in your mouth, so move aside. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm gonna figure this out, come on. I haven't operated many things. One thing I have operated is both of these nuts in DJ Fab's mouth, and that was easy to operate, so I think this is gonna be similar. I think that was simultaneous operation, right? Yeah, it was left and right at the same time. Bro, oh my. <laughs> wait, wait, there's actually a problem. What? The weight limit is 500 pounds. Is it really? And I'm 499. You're 499? So, look. All right, now, bro, how much do you actually No, have? look. Max capacity, 500 pounds. Zone B is 500 pounds. Zone A is 800. What zone are we in? What zone are we in? Well, you, you could compare that to you, because, like, left nut. Bro, <laughs> chill, bro. That's zone A, that's zone B, but they look the same. I think we just got to evenly disperse. But let's just add our weight, just in case. <sighs> Total weight, 575. So if we're in zone B, it's not looking good for the brothers. But if we're in zone A, we're good. I mean, boys, we're already here. Y'all, we're making jokes about this, but this is actually serious, like. I got a whole daughter, bro. I'm terrified. Also, I still have no idea how to operate. There's only two buttons and one switch. Can't be that hard. Just don't kill me, bro, right, please. Buttons, ready? Bro! What was, what was that? Why was it making noise? I think it was just the horn. It's just the horn, look. It's faded, but it's just the horn. Whoa! All right, that's forward and backwards. Whoa. There we go. I, I'm just figuring out the controls, boys. Don't worry. So if I flip the switch here. Whoa. Oh, we're going up. Oh, we're going up. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're shaking too. We are elevating, brother. Bro, this is shaking. We're entering zone B. We're entering zone B. How do you know? I don't know. I just feel like this, this is, we're getting hit really high. Bro. Oh, bro, I can feel we're it. We're as high as this projector in the sky. Bro, we're wobbling. Stop wobbling. Bro, you're wobbling it's over there. not me. <laughs> bro, you go. This thing's actually wobbling, guys. This is very scary. <laughs> Dear lives, brothers. I have no idea what I'm doing, boys. Whoa. Yo, just stop moving like that, bro. There you go. Off to the races. Oh, he bangs it. The final standings are in. 